Down the middle, the shot, she scores! 50 seconds gone into the game. The Wildcats will take the lead. Allie Wilson, the senior, pots the first goal for Johnson and Wales. Sloan on the right side. Little underhand flip down the middle. The shot, she scores! Maddie Gould, 2-0 Johnson and Wales. Gould going to attack middle. Looking to turn the corner, throws it on the goal, and she scores. Gould finds her way to the front. Back-to-back -back goals for her. 43 seconds for the Wildcats to shoot here. Sloan spinning in the slot. Her shot, she scores. Borla races down the middle. Her low shot. Another save from Gleiman. Borla around the screen. Right side slings it on the goal, and she scores. Big-time goal for the Blazers. Borla contacted from behind, slings it. Peichel now makes her move towards the goal, fakes, shoots, and she scores. Anna Elise Peichel, back-to-back -back goals for the Blazers. Blazers will keep the pressure on. Peichel moves it in front for the shot, and the save is made by Gleiman. Rebound chance given up off the turnover. Borla scores. Gleiman made the save, turns it over on the clear, comes right to Taylor Borla. She buries it to make it a one-goal game. Cronin in behind the cage to the right side, cutting Peichel towards the goal, feathers it on the goal, she scores! Sneaks it inside the right pipe, four unanswered for Elms, and we're tied. Gamery looking to slip inside the slot, gives it off, Wilson, underhand shot, she scores! Gamery. One-on-one -on -one with Salomon. Gamery finds her way free, and she goes over the top and scores. Palumbo tees it up low, and it's saved by Gleiman. The scoop stop from the sophomore. And the Wildcats, a little lackadaisical with the ball, have it swatted away. Favorably, though, for Gamery, who puts on the gas. To the goal, she scores! Gamery just kicked it into another gear there. Three-goal game. Palumbo, the shot, she scores! From the left wing side, a little bit of daylight. Little underhand flick of the wrist to the back of the net. Gamery with two assists as well in front, they score! Sloan puts it in for the Wildcats. High on the wing, left side. Trying to get the goal back, Sloan to the front, and she scores! Out high to Gould, trying to turn the corner. Gould through contact, she scores! Gamery with free position on the wing left side. 12 yards from the goal. This time will race in trying to shoot and she scores! Gamery straight away on free position. 3.04 to go in the third. To the net with the shot, she scores! Fourth goal of the game, seven points for Gamery to lead all scores. Sloan walks her way in, she scores! Six unanswered for the Wildcats. The lead continues to grow. Borla. Trying to turn the corner right side, drops it in front. That one for a point blank chance, they score. Hops to Elise Pyre. The junior from West Springfield, Mass. Finally ends the scoring run. We're finally back to even strength. Here comes Johnson on the cut, she scores! Johnson racing into the frame, was delivered the ball in a perfect spot. She buries it. Now Wilson. That one bobbled through the slot. Gould couldn't handle it. It's thrown in on the rebound. I think that's Gamery, it is. Her fifth goal of the game. That one in front and the shot denied. Cronin walking right in front of Gleiman. Stuffed by the sophomore goalie. Johnson quickly back the other way. Her shot and she scores. Through the contact, Johnson racing down the right side. Puts it home through the wickets and a double digit lead for the Wildcats. Bab. Turns right side, moves inside. Sloan over the top, she scores. Fifth goal of the game for Sloan. Wildcats up 11. Peichel trying to skip it on the goal, she scores. Coming in as the eight seed. Gamery in front, she scores. Gamery took it from the end line, raced out in front, and that could be the knockout blow 
here for the Wildcats. Cronin's going to have free position. Final play here of the Blazers' season. Cronin hits the post. Deflects to the right side, and that'll do it. The Wildcats had a dogfight on their hands early, but they hit their stride here in the second half, and they will win 18-7 and advance to the GNAC semifinals.